Attorney General Professor Gidumwe Gai is on a collision course with the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution over the continued existence of the current cabinet. While the Commission Chairman Charles Nyachai claims that Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Vice President Kalonzo Musioka and Cabinet Ministers are in office illegally, the AG overruled Nyachai saying cabinet is constitutionally in place until the next government takes over. And as Samogina reports, Nyachai's interpretation of the constitution is bound to create a power vacuum in the country. The AG's rebuttal came hot on the heels of Nyachai's statement on the sidelines of President-elect Uhuru Kenyatta's meeting with all the constitutional bodies. At the meeting, Uhuru and his deputy William Ruto pledged to work with all the independent constitutional commissions to ensure the full implementation of the constitution. We are open, we are ready to work together with yourselves and we look forward to that opportunity and like I said, let it be in the spirit of all of us recognizing that we each have mandates to fulfill but all those mandates at the end of the day are supposed to be for the betterment of the people of the Republic of Kenya. Though united in briefing the president-elect on the status of their commissions and departments, the Attorney General has sharply differed with the CIC over the legality of the Prime Minister, Vice President and Cabinet Ministers stay in office. The CIC Chairman Charles Nyachai had cited the existence of Raila Odinga as Prime Minister, Kalonza Musioka as the Vice President and several Cabinet position holders as an illegality given the election of a new president-elect. They will continue uh, in office until the first general elections under the Constitution. Now, the first general elections under the Constitution, of course, were on the 4th of March. So on a plain reading of the Constitution, uh, uh, the, 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 those offices, uh, all, uh, the holders of those offices all uh, served their terms up to the uh, 4th of, uh, of March. But the government chief legal advisor in a letter to the head of civil service, Francis Kimemia, says the prime minister, vice president and cabinet ministers are firmly and legally in office in accordance to the National Accord and Reconciliation Act of 2008. The AG stated that cabinet will continue being in office until the coming into force of the new government, warning that a power vacuum is imminent if cabinet relinquish their position. The Attorney General stated that the election period does not end at balloting and subsequent declaration of president-elect but will be completed upon gazettement of all elected leaders and their swearing-in. Samogina, KTN.